From there, I started breaking horses. Turned 16, the Peach Festival in the rodeo here. My wife Caroline remembers. Went to the Peach Festival rodeo, 16 years old. And the rodeo, it was 6 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock in the evening. I don't know nothing about rodeo, but I was there all day. I didn't have a bite to eat. That's how much I loved animals. The smell of them was good enough that fed me. And dust, heat, because it's August. And I was sitting on the top rail, sitting there watching, and hear horses come running below me in the suit filled up bulls and whatever come in, shut in, and they call a grand entry, cowboys right in the arena. And this man, he's a arena director, busy with the paper, come running back and forth, back and forth. In the meantime, the pickup man is Joe Kelsey. That's his stock from Tenasket, Washington. He said, Joe, come here. And I was perched on there like a chipmunk. And here comes Joe. What's the matter? He said, I can't get a rider on this horse. Nobody wants to ride him. Gee, that horse would rear up, kick, rear up. And I was sitting there, shaking when he's kicking. Finally, fourth time he come, he kept looking at me. He stopped, hey, kid. I looked at him. You want to ride this horse? That's in the road you. I looked, oh, it was a big horse. I didn't say nothing. He ran over there, he ran back. Hey, kid, can you ride him? You'll get five bucks. Holy man, that's money. Sure, well, I'll get you a rigging. I didn't know what rigging was. It's a green pea. So, there's another fella coming in, has got a bareback rigging. I told him, what's a rigging? Right here. Oh, okay. He said, there's a bunch there. I didn't know, that's private owned, you don't touch them. So I jumped off, I ran over there, of course, like a little Indian, I picked a brand new rigging. I lifted up like that, I just turned, somebody grabbed me by the neck and lifted me right up, right off the ground. Oh, it hurt my ear, it grabbed everything, my hair, Hey, kid, what the hell do you think you're doing? I couldn't even turn because he had me up here. He was on the horse. That was the strongest arm I ever felt. I was going to talk. He said, what are you doing? He'd shake me. Finally, he must pity me because I had no old coveralls, crooked boot heels, an old straw hat. He put me down. I said, what, are you going to steal this? I said, no, I'm going to ride that horse. I guess he took pity. You can ride the horse, but by golly, as soon as you get down all the end, when they undo the horse, you bring back that rig and put it right where you took it from. Yes, 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 that's all I could say is yes. I was scared to get licked. And I told that, that fella got here, says, you got a rig? And I said, yeah, put it on. It's about five more minutes. The horses are going to be cleared off the arena, and you got to ride. So oh, I had a hard time. The horse keep bouncing up in there. Finally, we got it on. And and I climbed on, and that horse down there threw to me in the other suit, and that's a Brema bull there, big horn. So he grabbed me, he said, stay on, don't get off. He helped me, he kept me in place. Hang on to this. 
He told me, by the way, as soon as the gate open, grab the gate. We just want these animals out of here. Oh, that my stomach was grumbling from hunger. I realized I'm so hungry, either from hunger or scared. I was just shaking. So all of a sudden, say, get on already, and the bell ring. The gates all swung open. Out we come. Well, June, the horse come out. He was about ten feet when he jumped out. I did not chance to grab the the gate, and he took me for a ride, bucking his head off. For some reason, I stayed on all the way to the other end. And the horse ran, and I jumped for the gate on the other end, they called catch pen. Soon as I jumped, while well, the horse got over here, and here come some bulls. So he ducked, and he hit my feet. Up in the air, I spin like that, and I land right in the, on, by the gate. And he stepped on me on the forehead and right on my hands. But that didn't slow me because I can hear them bulls grunting and bawling and the cowbells. But I was just like a monkey. I was right on top of that gate hanging on and the bulls hit the gate. If I fell in, I'd be hamburger because they were right there wanting to go in. But I fell off on the in, inside, now safe, there's an alleyway. And I crawled out, and I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die for sure, die young. <laughs> I had full mouth of manure, sand, my ears, my eyes. I, I had an crouched down because I couldn't breathe. I thought, this is it. I seen red, red, red. And then up here's the grandstand. That's the way to ride them, cowboy. That's the, if they only know I was ready to keel over. They were hollering for me. That's a brave cowboy. Then I got better. I could breathe. Oh, that felt good. And I went Long days, of course, I shown off. I'm the rider that rode that horse, so people watch me through the aisle. I got over there, here's my five bucks. Five. And when I was that afternoon, when I was sitting there, oh, that little breeze, I could smell the hot dogs, hamburger, onions, oh man. I'd peek over there and them guys were cooking. By golly, I got my medicine. Soon as I got my five bucks, I'd run over there. What can I do for you? Oh, man, you're, you're dirty. I could feel all that dirt, sweat. I want two hot dogs, okay. That is 15 cents each. And uh, pop, missing orange, 10 cents. Gee, I got it. I went by the big truck where the motor's still running because of the wires that kept up the lights. I went behind in a shade and I had a feast. I got done with that. I went back and I got two hamburgers. <laughs> and they missed no. By golly, it's half an hour here. I was laying by that big truck. <laughs> Cramped up. I thought I was going to end up in the hospital, but it worked out. Oh, Next story. day, same thing, another five bucks. Yeah. Next day, another five bucks, fifteen dollars. That was my experience, and from there, I loved animals. I was 16 years old, but then after that, I traveled rodeos.